Hey there, viewers. This is the Ford Fusion. I'm Joshua, and we're back at VG APR Garage. Where? Where are you? There you are. You don't belong here. So today we're back here on the rear brakes, this Ford Fusion, and they are electronically controlled, but not any different than the ones that are just the regular screw-ins on these. It's not like a, a Volkswagen or an Audi where you got to go in and put it in service mode. Um, this one will just screw in, just the motor is right here. So first things first, we're going to pull off this clip. The other side came off nice and easy. This side, for some reason, is giving me a hard time, eh? There we go. We're gonna pop off our two caps for our guide pins. Set that aside. You're gonna wanna make sure you have those caps. Now we're gonna wanna remove those guide pins, and they are an Allen, and I believe they are a T45, I'll put it, you know, down there because this Stanley tool does not stay what size Allen it is. It may be a 7 millimeter. I think that's what it is. I see a 7, so I bet it's a 7 millimeter. We're going to get in here and pop these bad boys free. There we go. I like to take the pin all the way out because we got to clean these and add silicone paste to them. Come on down here to the bottom one. Crack that butt preet as well. Oh. One's a little bit more stiff. Glad we're doing it now. go and our caliper will just come on out we want to remove our pads be mindful the spring one goes on the piston these ones don't have like the see the indent of the piston and there's these two little like uh, indents um, that's where the piston doesn't hit on these pads there's no little like um, bump right here for that indent but on the new one there is so you want to make sure that the where the indents are are top and bottom so that that indent goes into that little um the indent the bump on the pad goes into the indent on the piston that's very important um and then we want to whoever did these brakes put some type of glue on this i'm gonna pop that off now we're going to take just one of these from Harbor Freight, a piston compression tool. Um, these have to be twisted in. You cannot push them in. Um, you will break them if you try to push them in. So we just get this tool all lined up. Oh, I'm missing, that's why, I'm missing the end for that. Oh, it's right here. We've got this hat for it. And some of these are just so loose where you actually can just, or so free where you can just twist them in by hand, not having to set the whole tool up to, to twist it in. Well, I want to get you guys a little bit of a better view. So we got that set up up against the piston, and now we can just turn it, and that will force 
the piston back down. Look like my orange gloves. There it is again, the orange glove. That's about as far as it needs to go in. You'll, you'll feel it stop. Now see how the, the little uh, indents are on top and bottom. That's important for these new pads that that's how it's set up. We're gonna set this aside. And then, so now we gotta remove this bracket, which is just a 14 millimeter. And these brackets have Loctite on them from the factory, so I'm gonna take a hammer and a breaker bar and just hammer them free. That one's free. We're gonna go on down to the bottom one. Just a little bit more out of the way. There we go. And don't forget, out, it's, this caliper is not hanging by the brake line. All right. Oop. There's one. Get this other one out. There they both are. The caliper move that up and out of the way. The rotor does not want to come off. I experienced this with the other side too. So we're just going to give it some taps. There we go. Now we're going to want to clean up that surface. take our new rotor, pop that bad boy right on. We're going to take both of our caliper bracket bolts and put some blue Loctite on it. Take the caliper bracket, stick that up in there, move the caliper up and out of the way. find the hole. Yeah, we're just about there. There is one. The other one. And there we go. Put your clap your cap on your Loctite. And let's wrench these down.
to. Now we got our pads. The one with the spring goes in the back. The one without the spring goes in the front. I like to take, in the case of these style of calipers, where the boot is on the inside, I like to take the silicone paste and put it in the boot over putting it on the, uh, the guide pin. As the guide pin goes through, it'll grab the silicone paste and lube it up. go we take this bring it down oh, bring it down and there we go we take our guide pins which I left left on the bench well we take our guide pins pop them in there we go I'll take just the the Allen socket and run, run them in by hand first. I think it caught. Yep, it did. Now before I get all the way tight, you wanna go on down to the bottom and make sure that one gets started. There we go. Make that good and tight. There we are. Make sure this is good and tight. All right. Well, I'm down here. Spray some fluid film. Sway bar links up inside the frame. Keep this car going as long as we can. It's empty. But some of you were like, you forgot. You forgot. I did. You want to put your caps back on. And then you want to put your clip in. And that's how you do a rear brake job on a Ford Fusion. 2013 to 2021 um, Ford Fusion. Um, and Lincoln Zephyr, I believe, was done the exact same way. I think it, this type of brake setup goes for all of the, your gas powered, your electric, and your plug-in. The only difference is, is the the rotors and pad material may be different, so be make sure when you're getting those that you are emphasis you know which which parts which rotors and pads go to which specific whether it's gas, gas electric, or hybrid. I believe there is a difference. These rotors and pads are specifically for the um, hybrid. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, thumbs down. Question comments. I try to get back to everybody. Um, think about subscribing. It really helps me out. Let's me know that more people want to keep seeing what I'm doing. Um, you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it? Ring that bell. There are projects. There's some major welding that's got to be done on the Jeep. There's um, an engine replacement and clutch job that's got to be done on my Saab. Um, and I also bought a new car that I guys that I want to show you guys, and we're gonna see about modifying it. Um, so, senior clues. Clean your tools off, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.